A message from Karen. Right so after I was proved wrong by Luke's expert Mang aerial abilities in the last video I decided the absolute least I could do is make an intro for one the most exquisite series out there. Kidding, I read that drama script which Luke wrote. I'm surprised he even put in the effort to write something, as this series is the only thing more inconsistent than Day on Lovren's defense. A message from Karen. So, uh, funny story. Humorous tale. Hilarious piece of literature. So, as if Karen on the intro wasn't enough of a down already, the duration of this episode may or may not have just been cut down like 15 minutes. <coughs> Why are you cheering? I, th I thought you liked this. 47 views, that's mental, really. But, so pretty much what happened, <laughs> let's get serious now. So, December, January, as you can see, all these games, I recorded them, I played well, I think this was probably the peak of the career mode so far, but the file didn't save. The recording didn't save, so I'm just gonna go through, give a little summary of each game. So Arsenal beat Arsenal, I don't know if they're a big 16 now, like are they? No? I mean, can a team with David Luiz starting regularly really be considered a big 6? I don't really think so, but I guess I'm technically they are. So we beat Arsenal 2-1, reason we um, saw a performance, their goal is just like the consolation goal, really. And then, and the Southampton threw and win nice and solid. Uh, in like past career modes I've done just on my own, Southampton, like in the next few seasons, have kind of been pushing 7th, 8th position. So we might have to watch out for them this career mode, but not too concerned about them right now. Sheffield United, 2-1 um, win, a bit closer than I would have liked. But I mean, if Sheffield United are going to be realistic at all in this career mode, then it was a big win for us. Leicester, another 2-1 win, um, which was pivotal because we were fighting Leicester for that kind of 7th, 8th place. Wolves on to the other side of the Midlands. So Wolves was a 1-0 win, reasonably close. They are a great side. They were in the top 4. They were a Champions League team. I think they might still be right now. So that was a really huge win. We drew Villa. Which was not ideal. I think I might have simmed this. Yeah, I think I did. 1-1 one, one draw, not good at all. Not ideal. So, we, there's, there's still work to be done. And then we beat Spurs 2-0. Which, I mean, is, is that really a big 6 team? Like, I don't know. The, their goalkeeper and forward, their goalkeeper and forward can't even agree. But, honestly, just, just think about the North London Derby. Arsenal versus Spurs. Like, is it even notable anymore? It's in a few days, too. Um, when I'm recording this. So, yeah. So we're now up to 6, climbing the table like a mountain, so in a Europa League spot, and I know I said I would stop saying that, but I mean just had to resist, I mean look at what we've brought to this team. Today is the 1st of January, so we are playing Palace, but more importantly I kind of want to go over our transfer targets. So transfer targets, think you're bringing a new center back, I know what you're thinking like, oh yeah Ben Godfrey, Ben Godfrey's great, um, but the thing is Alessandro Bastoni, maybe we can swap Godfrey then maybe add some cash to Aston Villa, 75 rated at 20, that's that, that's pretty good, and then there's also Benaric from Southampton might be a bit ambitious. Um, I mean, Max 19, but also we could probably go for him 23. I wouldn't really want to bring it to Balbuena. Actually, honestly, I'd probably have to take Godfrey over Balbuena. I know Simmons and Rita, but 28, um, probably gonna diminish pretty quickly. I won't bring in youth. This is remember like two, three season career mode. Eric Bailey 25, 88 rated. Um, it was great, but 23 mil. Um. The minimum 17 and that's kind of all we have so he's probably a bit too ambitious for this year at least so i'm gonna go for i'm gonna try to swap godfrey for bastoni probably gonna if they don't accept it i can still afford him what 14 mil i have like 17 mil to spend so yeah let's try to go for that so we've got bastoni we had to swap godfrey like i said which i don't know i mean a bit of a big move bold move but I i'm trusting my gut for this one we had done on on another 8 mil i'm also thinking about maybe selling um, her, maybe definitely if I can, Hernandez, Stepman, and Teti. I mean, Closa, I'm not sure. I think it'll be good to have another backup defender, like at least 70 rated besides Zimmerman in Bastoni. So I think I should hang on for him for now, but I'm probably gonna transfer this, these three. Just can't really see him making it to the starting 11. I mean, they're all midfielders. And we have backups too. We have backups. So Palace next, and then Palace in the cup. So I'm just gonna sim that with the second squad. Then we got United, which I'll play. Then Burnmouth. So, um, four league games. I'm gonna play sim every other one. Palace are on 14th. Um, so I kind of want to see how we are 
on paper too because i know we've been playing well in game because but i kind of want to see how well we're doing the sims because that's a big part too um i mean i've been playing on the same difficulty as the rest of the crew just legendary that's how i usually play fifa so yeah well sim the palace game alessandro bastoni the young italian to make his debut we're at Cower Road against Crystal Palace. How do we do? We draw again. So, can't roll two goals. Good to see him scoring again. But I, I had a feeling we would draw. It's just, we're not doing too well in the Sims. I don't see why we have a really strong squad. I don't think ours... Maybe the Spurs one was a bit far-fetched. But I don't think any of our results are too unrealistic. But, um, let's just carry on through January. Against United, hopefully we can be a little more successful than Palace. Um, but with that being said, I mean... I guess I'll be happy with the draw against United. You know, what they're in fourth at 46 points, we're in seventh, so reasonably tight in the table. Another big game for us, and yeah, just like to mention that we have sold Marco Stepperman to Amiens SC in Ligon. Process of selling Hernandez and Teti, they're being negotiated out to other clubs. So I'll give you updates on that. Maybe we can make another signing with all this extra cash coming in. So we did give up possession a little bit, like actually just after second half kickoff, just they just completely unraveled our defense. Great play by them, good link up, but we concede in the 47th. And how do we respond? We're Nord City, we respond. So it looks like Aaron Buendia lays it up to Zlatan against his former club at Old Trafford. There it is, perfectly placed right by David De Gea. And it's level now, 60th minute, so quite an exciting second half after a stalemate in the first, now two goals now. So then. 92nd minute. I just prefer not to speak, really. Two games against United, two late goals to win it for them as we see ourselves down to 8th, but only one point off of 7th, only um, four points off of 6th. It's not time to 15 goals, so things are still coming out nicely. Um, what, two hit tied with Aguirre with a two clear Mane for the Golden Boot Race? Because him the Burnmouth game and then play the Spurs one, and that'll be it for this episode. So, Burnmouth are currently in 19th, a bit like real life in a relegation battle. Let's see how we do against them. So, 3 2, a bit closer than I would have liked. Um, looks like Simon Paulino is going to goals for them. Madison with two, good to see him scoring once again. Then Campbell too, it's good to see him doing well in Sims because they don't always score a ton in game, but I do have faith in them. They're um, great players. So, we get the three points. I've talked a little about upgrading in the goalkeeping department, and we might do that with Nick Pope. Most clean sheets in Premier League, 80 rated, so brilliant keeper in real life. He's worth 13 to 18 mil. We have about 12 mil right now after selling Stepperman, Hernandez, and Teddy. So I'm either gonna. So I've translisted Tim Cruel. He's about four. Um. 4 mil, so that'll get us to 16, maybe I could squeeze out 5, get us to 17 with strong position, or I'm going to try to swap for him, then the end of the transfer window, I can try and sell Tim Kroll, and so, so I can try to swap with Tim Kroll, probably add, I mean, maybe add like 12 mil, let's hope, because that's all we have to spend, or I could try to sell him, and then we could try to go for Pope, so I'm not saying it's going to happen, but I mean, it, it will be really nice if it could, and I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it's definitely gonna, but it'll be great if it could, so let's just get into it. So here he is, Nick Pope, the current Burnley man in Norwich City shirt, but you might notice one more thing, Tim Cruel is also a Norwich City shirt, so I tried to swap Cruel, they didn't take him, but then they took Sam Byram, so Sam Byram has room in playing, he's kind of been my sub sub for when I have to take Cantwell out, because um, he's kind of the only other player that plays on the left, like wing wide, I know he's a fullback, but he, he was still playing pretty well so we're still gonna try to sell cruel I mean maybe so it's great we have Pope I'm really buzzing about that but at the same time I'm kind of like torn of what we're gonna do what look kind of fullback position extra fullback and also Jamalu which just got a red card so um we the plan was to use Byron for the Spurs game but we just sold him of course so I'm just gonna go into the squad work something out so Bastoni is left footed, so I went ahead, threw him on the left, 53 pace, not a deal at all, but let's just see how it works against Spurs, then I threw Kloza in for the open center back position. And of course, Nick Pope between the sticks, absolutely buzzing for this. So yeah, onto the Spurs game, last of this pretty big episode.
Kane flicked it up and then with a lovely little volley, poor defensing though, we were just opened up way too easily to allow the finish like that, so then we had the same presence in our defense as Arsenal fans on a Thursday night as Lo Celso ran through our entire team and laid it off to Harold, so yeah a 2-0 win against Spurs then a 2-0 defeat hey we tie on aggregate I guess I'll take it. So 24 matches in so a little bit past the halfway point of the season and we sit 9th which is an improvement, um, I believe we're 12th or 14th and no it's been over like 3 hours of recording. Um, done at this point um so 38 points so i mean it was 40 so can't, can't really get relegated at this point as you can see aguero must have gotten a brace for himself as he take overtake slot on in the golden boot but it's not even close to over yet it's we're very much still in we, we could still make the europa league um that's all i've been talking about this whole episode but yeah it is very much is true i mean we did play well against spurs it just we I mean, two quick breaks, a bit unlucky, didn't have a full squad, and yeah, 14 matches left, we're only, what, four points off of six, we, we can still do this, so, that that's the last game, um, but remember, still transfer window, a few days left in that, so I'll just see where that's going. So here's our transfer window, spending 21 mil on Bastoni and Pope, um, and we did clean out 13.4, um, profit, and we have about 4 mil left over now, we just sold Tim Cruel, so we stole Stepman, Hernandez, Teddy, Cruel, and Godfrey. So yeah, as I said, only 4 mil left, I mean, they could sign a few, like, youth prospects, but I might kinda do that next season, um, I'm really happy with this squad right now. That will conclude this pivotal episode of this career mode. And by pivotal, I just mean it was just a really big episode, really fun. Loads of games, loads of transfers, just really exciting. And if this is going to be like a two or three season career mode, then there will be at least two more of these episodes. So if, if, you, if you watch this far, you clearly enjoyed it. So um, thank you for watching this far. Um, share it with your friends. Anything helps really trying to hit 1k soon, so that would be really nice if you could help me get there. And uh, yeah, 5.7 likes and I'll play FIFA against Karen.